Hey, what's up everyone welcome back to yet another video and today we are editing and criticizing your photos that you have sent through an email that i have provided you in my instagram story so if you haven't followed me on instagram you're missing out on these episodes and let's roll the intro Okay, so as you might have already guessed that this video is going to be in two different sections starting from one the best part is like featuring the best photos that you guys have sent and going down towards uh, the not so best part otherwise the bad photos which I will try to criticize and get the accurate answers out so that it helps you so that it helps you to correct your your problems and helps you to be a better photographer at the end of the day so there is there is no way that i'm claiming to be the best in the game absolutely not it's just an episode where i connect to my audience and show basically my style of editing on the photos that you guys have taken so there's a bit of connection going on between a creator and the audience so this is the reason that we are doing this episodes and if you want to be a part of it next time make sure you follow me on instagram the link is in the description down below if you just click the see more you'll see plenty of links click all of them if you want and let's start with the first photo so this photo is from Gautam I hope I pronounced the name correctly it is from Tamil Nadu India and it has to be the best photo of this episode so far so we're starting from the best and slowly gradually going down to the not so best so this photo is from Tamil Nadu India it's sent by Gautam Gautam basically used a Sony a7 III which is pretty much my setup he used a 28 to 70 millimeter lens f 3.5 yeah. I hope you can already see the screen and you understand the setting he used. There is everything that you might want to know. This is a very, very, very well composed photo. Except the fact that I do not like the car down there. I am for sure that Gotham wouldn't like that car as well. So we will try our best to get that remove out of there. So let's go to mask first, select subject, it will magically sub select the subject automatically. I don't know how it does that, but it just does that. So as you can see, we selected the subject beautifully and now we'll take the shadows a little bit up so we can see a little bit more of the horse. Look, this is a beautiful photo. Okay. Now, the foreground is pretty much exposed. Now let's expose, now let's expose the background as well. The sky is blown out right now and it's obvious. So we will do another mask and then invert the mask. And now we'll gradually bring down the highlights a little so that we can pretty much see the sky. And this is a great photo. Let's go to crop because I just don't like this crop. I never prefer this. If you are following me on Instagram, you just know that I never prefer this crop at all. Okay, here are things that we're going to remove. We are probably going to remove that rope because it's just not looking great. Because I'm sure some guy is pulling the horse, but we cannot see him in the frame. So the rope is kind of distracting, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty much distracting my eyes to another area, which it should not do. So we are going to remove that and we will try to remove that car. I don't know whether we're going to be successful or it will be a failure, but it's a great photo. Let's start. That guy also should be exposed a little bit. 
because he is way back in the background and is not too exposed. So we will just do that, paint him out. It doesn't need to be perfect, <clears throat> but as you can see, Photoshop is doing a proper job of selecting the subject automatically. I don't know how it does that. And it's mind boggling. Fine. See, this is the before, this is the after. We just exposed the photo correctly right now. We didn't do anything else, it's just mask and exposing subjects, foreground and background. And now we'll go and move to the contrast and colors and everything else that we need to do. Okay, so there's one other option that you can try out in Photoshop now. It's when you go to mask, you create a mask and select sky right in the camera raw which is great because that allows you to edit the sky without getting the hassle and just edit this edit the sky separately and smoothly so you do not have to worry about that so there you can see the sky is selected very well we're going to do a little bit back to this i think we're trying to change the sky as well let's see okay so this is what it looks like okay now let's do some of my favorite things to do that i do in most of my most of my photos if you follow me for a while now i will do a little bit of sharpening very minor, very minor, not need to be that much. Okay, radius a little too down. Details should go a little too down as well. See, now it's looking pretty fine. So let's go to colors, the HSL tab. We'll just get rid of the blue. I do not like blues. Everyone knows that. I hope so. We'll bring up the orange a little. You see, when we bring up the orange, parts of the horse lights up. That's the magic because the horse has this orange color in it. We'll do some grading. We'll take some blue in the shadows. And it's pretty much the way we want already it's looking absolutely gorgeous already i don't know why okay now let's open it on the main photoshop interface and then we do the other things that we need to do <coughs> first of all we're going to get rid of this rope that is hanging out i do not like it at all Less or two. Should have maybe selected this photo. See the magic of Photoshop. It's just weird how Photoshop reacts at this point. And scary as well. Let's get rid of the entire row from the face, from the front face actually. Otherwise, it's going to look awkward. See? There's no trace of it. Whatsoever. No trace. Where's the roll? There's nothing. This is why I love Photoshop. And now is the difficult part. Probably. Yeah. Removing the car. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Probably. Clone. Uh, because it's less so and content aware will not work on it, that's for sure.
really nice draw, I guess. There we go. Now, let's blend it a bit better. It's the most shortcut editing that you can do with the Photoshop. See, there goes the magic. And that look, looks like a little bit of cloud right there. So let it be. Some mistakes are meant to be creative. I guess this works as a creative mistake. So let it be. Let's remove the unwanted part of the photo. Things that we do not need. We did successfully remove that car from the background. So that's a good thing. So Pretty stuff, bro. Pretty stuff. Now let's do the sky replacement if it lets us do that. Go to edit, sky replacement. Let's see what we can do right here. It's a cloudy day as far as we can tell. You have to match the exact weather with the exact lighting. Otherwise the sky replacement will go on a full-on fail mission it will not match definitely so we have to find something that works <coughs> this works this works beautifully scale it a little bit better this can do this can be cool as well so what I've done is pretty much a moody edit on this photo so far if you do not understand my apologies but it's a pretty Pretty cool edit so far. Now let's take it to the camera filter once again to do some more stuff to it. There we go. I mean, that is it, I guess. This is my take on your photo, Gotham. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something new from this. Your composition is absolutely phenomenal. I would try a little bit of different angles so that I could have gotten the guy who was pulling the rope. So it's not that big of a deal, but it is so far the best photo of this episode. So congratulations to you. I hope you enjoyed my take on your photo. It's absolutely a beautiful photo. So thanks for submitting and we move to the next one. Okay, so now we go to the photo number two and it's from Fidak Alom from Ramon Varia. It, it's a very nice photo that has many colors, but absolutely sad part is we're going to get rid of all the colors out of it. Now that the crop has been done, it looks better. Now we're going to go to the lasso tool to remove the unwanted part of the photo. We select BMW. <coughs> now we, uh, BMW, selecting BMW just get, 
gets us started. Now we do the rest of it. The boy who lives. The before and the after. I mean, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope it looks good to you because it looks good to me and that's the main part about it. I hope you learned something from this photo that sometimes uh, natural street portraits looks the best when it is colorless. It tells more story when it is colorless or the subject has a very specific expression towards the lens. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you liked it. It's not your style probably, but it's mine. So that's it. That's that's just about it. And great photo. Very nicely framed. Subject right in the middle. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let's move to the next one. Now let's start with the third photo that came from uh, Tamit Ahmed. From where? Dhaka. Yeah. Cool Instagram looking photo this is because most of the time we see photos like this in Instagram only. More like aesthetic. So yeah, let's start with maybe blurring the background a bit more, faking it. Because it as you can see it is already blurred. But let's just fake it a bit more because it is taken to the phone as far as I can tell. So the blur is really accurate and the sharp portion is a little bit extra sharp. So let's just do that. I mean select. Contrast. We need to get some texture out of it because it looks way way fake sharp because it is a photo from a phone and phones are expert in doing smart sharpening. We don't want that. I want this photo to look a bit gold. You can do a little bit of fade if you want, but I don't prefer fade that much. See it so before. There was the after. Looks cool. Looks pretty cool. As there's fog or smoke, I don't know it's, if it's fog or smoke. But it looks cool so far. So beautifully done. I would consider more mature frame, I guess, because it's just cool for Instagram and stuff, but not like a photo that creates an impact or something. This is it for me. This is it for Tami Damet from Dhaka. Beautiful photo. Not the best one I've seen so far, but Considering what you have thought before taking this, it's cool I guess because it takes out a little bit of different perspective but it doesn't represent a strong story or a, st a strong background behind this photo. So I would highly suggest to go and explore more with your camera or your phone, whatever it is, it doesn't matter if you have a camera or not because most of the submissions here are from mobile, by the way. So not everyone has camera. So it, you do not need to have a camera, go explore more different angles, more story type, more cityscape. I mean, create something that creates an impact, that is more meaningful, that is more powerful for a photographer. And I hope you enjoyed my take on your photo and because 
I had great fun doing it. Let's go to the next photo. Okay, so now we move to the last photo. Uh, this has a lot of criticism in its path. So we're just going to do that. It is from Irfan from Borishal. So this photo could be a beautiful photo if it had been <coughs> framed correctly. It is a very long frame for a photo like this. I will just show you an example of what this photo could look like if it was shot within a correct frame or if you could explore it a bit more. Excuse me, wait a wait a minute. Okay, it was funny thing. Okay, so this photo could look very much better, Irfan, if it was explored a bit more. That's why I say when you take a photo, explore the entire location because you never know what you might get. So this is your photo and uh, raw and did not even touch it here. And this is a photo from a very young content creator from my community that I would like to proudly show you guys. This is the photo that it could look like. That's it. So this is what it could look like if you had explored a bit more. So this is what it is. This is the problem. I don't know what we're going to do with this, but let's try. It is not framed correctly. It, the exposure is way below the ground and we're just losing details in the photo. So there's that. See, when I hold shadows, it shows where we're losing the details. So we're going to up the shadow. <coughs> We're going to up the exposure. Huh. Now, what we can do, what we can do, what we can do. Give it a bit more contrast. Make the photo a bit more warmer. Select the color, get rid of the blue. From the boat. See, now it's cool. So I just made a teal. Okay, so now it's cool. I'll get the yellow to a bit more orange. Let's do a bit correction on the crop because it needs a correction badly. Let's do the ratio. Let's straight the image first because it is absolutely not straight. See? If you could just go a little bit far and take the photo from a bit more space then this photo could have been amazing to be very honest. It, is, it still looks good because it has a bit of symmetry but symmetry is important when you are symmetry is important when you are taking photos like this uh, so highly suggest to explore a bit more before you go out and before you especially click the final photo. <coughs> what we're going to do is we're going to select as there is no sun ray <coughs> but the sky is blown out. <coughs> we're going to take a radial filter and place it right here and create a fake <coughs> sunlight probably. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to up the exposure. <coughs> As you can see, it creates a bit more interest in the photo. We're going to bring down the clarity. <coughs> see, this is what it does. So this is pretty much it. This is this is my take on this photo and it could have looked way more beautiful it already looks beautiful because of the edit but it could have looked way more beautiful if it was taken correctly so i highly suggest each and every one of you who are watching this video 
to go <coughs> on a location where you're going to shoot especially <coughs> take an hour long to explore the place to see different angles before you see it through your camera because that you know that <coughs> opens up a different perspective when you're taking different photos and that gives you unique frame to capture so I highly suggest everyone to explore the location you're shooting in and then click a photo because this is an example that this photo could have looked phenomenal. I personally never went to Shadurghat to shoot photos but <clears throat> I had this planned and I wanted to do a POV on that but my action camera is broken so we're going to do that later. So, so far pretty good photo but not the best I've seen probably this is the the one that needed a little bit of criticism so I hope you didn't mind I hope I helped a little on framing the photo correctly and I hope you liked the after because I did some major things to it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't already please make sure you hit that subscribe button please turn on your notifications and those of you that I couldn't select uh, this for this episode I'm really very sorry it's not up to me it's because the photos needs to be in a in a specific level to get selected you see the, the emails needs to be perfect at least so that I have some information about you that I can give it in my description so that the other people can go and follow and see your work so this is because of this is the reason why I, I try to make this video is because to help you guys as well so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you didn't mind that you are you didn't get selected for this one but I hope you will be selected in the next one but if you want to be a part of this episode that we do here in this channel in the next episode make sure you subscribe make sure you turn on your notifications otherwise you won't get notified when i upload these videos and <clears throat> go follow me on instagram because the notification of this videos beforehand comes on my instagram story so that will help you to know when this thing is going to be up so you can submit your photo and the email will also be on the instagram story whenever we're doing the next episode i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something in detail i hope you had a good time i hope i did justice to your photos i will see you on the next video till then keep doing what you do keep taking amazing photos and thanks for showing all the love from different places of the world as well as different places of the country i will see you on the next video till then bye bye sign out